Yo guys and welcome back to the channel and today we are back on episode 4 for season 2 of the Derby County Wayne Rooney career mode. Massive episode for you guys today. Three huge Premier League games. Can we bounce back from an absolutely horrendous start to this Premier League season? Let's be honest. But before I get into all that I want to say a massive thank you for the support on the channel over the last couple of days and weeks. You guys have been killing it. 463 subs at the time of recording is nuts. 37 away from that 500 sub goal before the summer can we get there as per usual one big push would be very much appreciated but if not you guys have been killing it so far so i cannot thank you guys enough but it would be nice to get to that 500 sub goal so one last push boys i believe in you guys and if you guys want to enjoy today's video smash the like button subscribe if you're new and hit the bell to start today have more career modes live streams uh player reviews and much much more so without further ado let's get into today's fixtures so then guys, here are the three games in today's episode. Of course, as you can see, Norwich City, Bournemouth and a tricky game in Leicester City. The first two games, Norwich and Bournemouth, fellow promoted teams from the championship this season. Back-to-back -back games. I can't remember um, which one of them won the league and which one of them came second, but I know it was first and second between the two of them. Um, I believe it might have been Norwich who pipped it on the last couple of days, but I could be wrong about that. Um, but either way... Considering the start of the season we've had, you could probably argue that both those games are must win. I know we're in like the fifth and sixth game of the season. However, four defeats from your first four Premier games is not ideal, especially considering we did have the likes like of Fulham in there. I know we had Arsenal, Liverpool and Newcastle, but I don't know. We haven't played badly. We just need to get that first win on the board because the longer it goes without getting that first win, the further and further back we drop away from safety. And that is our main goal this season, not to get relegated. And it's been a successful season. And then, of course, to end the episode, we've got a trip to the King Power Stadium to face a Leicester team, which, let's be honest, are probably going to slap us up. But you never know. Crazier things have happened. So without further ado, let's check out the teams going at it at Carrow Road. So here are the two teams going at it at Carrot Road. As you can see, we know this Norwich team. We faced them twice in the league last year, and I could be wrong, but I think they beat us both times. <laughs> That's not ideal, is it? But in terms of our team, our team has massively improved since those games of last season. Of course, the addition of Timbo at the centre-back position and Mateus Pereira, who has been class for us. I know we've been absolutely battered in every game we've played so far, but Pereira has come with some big goals and big assists in those first five games. So hopefully he can do that but also get us in the end of some wins as well this season of course strongest possible lineup let's get into it right then guys here we go under the floodlights at Carrow Road Norwich City coming up against Derby County in a huge game and you could argue a must win game for both teams this is definitely going to be a six pointer come at the end of the season both teams are probably going to be in and around the relegation zone so getting advantage early on getting their heads that would be absolutely fantastic to see as you've already seen the lineups We've gone for our strongest possible team. Hopefully, we can have a strong performance and get our first win, let alone first points of the season. Come on, you Rams. Chance here. Timbo. Timbo gets to tackle him. Very nice from the Dutchman. Here's Ahmad. Finds Mateus Pereira. Come on, lad. Keep running, Ahmad. Goes for a pass over the top, and it's a gorgeous pass from Pereira. Diallo finds the back of the net. 10 minutes in, Pereira with a gorgeous assist and Diallo with a gorgeous strike into the bottom corner and it is advantage to Derby but we have been in this position before I think, to be fair, we might not actually have been in front this season yet but either way, we are in front now, still got 80 minutes to play, do not bottle this boys, please go on, oh I like a little block there Finds Diallo. Out wide to Pereira again. Over the top. Trying to find Josviak. Josviak gets it. Josviak shoots. Josviak scores. And it's 2-0. 17 minutes in. Derby County with a two-goal lead. Norwich City has offered absolutely nothing in any respect to it at all. We have started this game fantastically well. And Pereira with another gorgeous assist. What a goal from Josviak, by the way. Come on. Come on, Hugo gets tackled by Bielik, but he keeps it. Chance here. Pass it out to... No, and it's 2-1. Norwich City half the deficit in. 24 minutes in. Three goals scored between these two teams. Oh, boys, come on. Don't bowl this. We had a two-goal lead. Don't you dare bowl this. Come on, Timbo. Timbo doesn't have that strength, which is a first for him. Chance here for Norwich. Huge tackle from Timbo there. What a challenge from the Dutchman again. He's been class since we signed him. Josviak loses for the ball. Timbo. Timbo. Timbo gets there very nicely done from Timbo. Loses it straight away though. Oh dear. 
Timbo with another great tackle. Bloody hell, Timbo. Go on. Been class lately. Finds Pereira. Go on, Pereira. Pereira, he's already got two assists. Can he now find the back of the net? Yes, he can. Composed finish from the Brazilian. Timothy Fossimento with two back-to-back -back tackles in the middle. Finds a Mads. Who finds Pereira and gets his third goal involvement in this half? Come on, lads. As we kick off this second half, as you can see, 3-1. And listen, if we can hold on to this, it'll be a massive win. I know it's Norwich and, you know, they're not the best team in the Prem this season, let's say. But it's still, the fact we've got no points this season so far, if we can hold on for a win, would be absolutely insane. And hopefully it would kickstart our season. But we had a good first half. And now, oh no. And it's 3-2. They got it back to one goal. I was just about to say we had a good first half, but... It's all about holding it in the second half now. And that is not a good start. Hugo with his second goal of the game. Come on, boys. Big chance here for Norwich. Huge chance here for Norwich. Come on. Lamptey. Slide. Another big chance. Timbo slides. He's gone through the back of him and it's a penalty. Timothy Fossimenza have, has been absolutely flawless this game. But he's gone right through the back of him. And it's a penalty with 20 minutes to go. Buffon. We need a hero here, lad. And we've not got one. We'll bring Sibley on for Pereira, who's been classed. But it is all square. Under 20 minutes to go. Heartbreaking. Plays Shinny on that overlap. He's not the quickest. Josviak is, though. Go on, Josviak. Do something here. Josviak. Josviak still going. Josviak goes for a shot. Josviak! Oh! So close to finding that corner. <laughs> oh, look at that. Just curves and not enough. Oh. And it's no over the top. It's Steeperman. Steeperman. Norwich have a chance to get a winner here. It's a big save from Buffon. Potentially a game saving save. Josviak. Finds Sibley. Keep running, Josviak. Keep running. He's off. The afterburners are on. Here's Josviak. He's off. Go on. Josviak. Cuts inside. Can't get his shot off. He should have passed it. Chance here for Norwich to maybe put some passes together with bare minutes to go. Shinny gets the tackle in there. Very nice. Loses it straight away, though. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Belix slides. Timbo slides. And he's through. Big chance here. Buffon. And then we concede. In the 91st minute, the points have been grabbed away, snatched away from Derby County. And it looks to be a six successive, successive defeat. That's absolutely heartbreaking. Maybe one last push to go forward. Maybe one last final chance. Here's Sibley. He's going all the way. He's got no support up there with him. Nothing at all. And that looks like it's game over. That is going to be game over. And Norwich City at the depth has snatched even a point away from probably the better team in Derby County. That's heartbreaking. It really is. Right then boys, here we go. The second game of the episode at home to Bournemouth. Listen, you know the team. It's going to be the best possible team we can pull out. The exact same team that we got that unfortunate defeat against Norwich on the road. However, next game, bottom of the table, Bournemouth. They're in the exact same position as us. None of us have even got a point on the board yet. So, this has got to be the... Well, someone's un, like winless start is coming to an end here. Or at least pointless start, I should say. Be it a draw or a win, someone is going to get points this game. And if it's not us, I have a really bad suspicion we're going to get the sack, boys. This is a must, must win game. We cannot bottle this now, boys. Come on. Here we go, boys. The sun is shining. Derby County host Bournemouth in the Premier League. Of course, two championship clubs from last season. This is 19th place versus 20th place. A must win game for both teams here. Please be us, boys. We cannot lose a seventh successive game in a row. Surely not, right? Right? <laughs> Please, boys. Strongest possible 11. We need a win here, boys. Come on. Come on. Love that. Come on. He's Bielik. Finds Jordan Ibe. Come on. Get there. Ahmad's got there. Surely. Ahmad. Diallo. Finds the bottom corner. The venomous. Venomous. Venomous finish. It's 1 0 the derby. I can't speak. Venomous, apparently. <laughs> Come on, lads. Now, we all know what happened against Norwich. We do not want to lose our heads. Keep going. Keep going. Keep pushing. Keep running. Keep grafting. 
We need to get more goals, boys. Come on. Great start, though. Here's Jordan Ive. Drill one out wide into Josviak. He has done. Go on, Diallo. Plays it through into Josviak. Go on, Josviak. Come on, Josviak. Goes for a strike. It's straight at Dennis in goal. Come on. No. Big chance. Big chance. And it's a goal. Out of absolutely nothing. Bournemouth. Level the scores with a great finish, to be fair. I'd look down for one second. I look back up. And it's all square. Come on. Here we go. Here's a mad. Keep running, Josviak. Josviak's off. Josviak's got there. Come on, Josviak. Cuts inside. Josviak shoot. Josviak, he has and he scores. Josviak puts Derby in, in the lead just before the halftime whistle goes. Is that an assist for a mad? We're going to count that? <laughs> I don't know. He, get a bit, he got a bit fortunate to get the ball back. But either way, great strike. No chance for the keeper. And it is 2 1 to Derby. As we kick off the second half, listen, that Josviak goal was massive in terms of our season. However, we cannot lose our heads. Like I keep saying, you saw what happened against Norwich. We were 2-0 up, then we were 3-1 up. Listen, we cannot lose our heads for a second. We need to keep going, keep pushing. This game is not over yet, boys. Come on. Back in a... No. Felix running for... Oh, my God. Why have I done that? Why have I done that? He's offside. Please be offside. Please be offside. Buffon and his level. Why did I commit with Felix there? That was so bad from me. And he's all square once again with over half an hour to go. Oh. Get that. No. No, no. I've committed again. I've done it again. I've done it again. Please. Buffon, please. And it's 3 2. Bournemouth have got the lead. Pereira's done nothing this game, really. We're getting Sibley on. Bournemouth got the lead. Oh, do one. They go to the manager every time. Sibley's coming on. Boys. We're bottling it to bottom place. Bournemouth. That sums up our season. Love that. Come on, Bird. Come on, Bird. Finds Louis Sibley. Sibley! Levels it. 15 to go. Come on. There's still a chance to get another goal here. Great goal from Sibley. Off the bench, replacing Pereira for the... Well, latter of the second half. And it's a great goal. Come on. Oh, my God. Timbo... Just gets there. Love that from Timbo. Sibley. Can't hold it. Timbo. No. Buckingham. No. Bielik. No. Buckingham. Yes. No. What are you going on? Timbo. Huge tack from Timbo. But they still got the ball. We've literally the last play of the game. Oh, he's taking them out. Timbo is taking him completely out there. Oh, and it's the final chance. We're not going to be able to get a win. But can we still get a draw? Billings over it as well as Todd Cantwell. He's run over it. He's gone for a strike and it's a huge save from Buffon. And the game still goes. Can we get our first point of the season? He whips one in. Oh, and it's over and we do scrape a point. Listen, we get our first points of the season, so it's a positive. However, the fact we could not beat Bournemouth, who are in the exact same position of us as if they've got no points this season, well, until now, is worrying and next up we've got Leicester we got the point boys positives positives right then boys here we go the third and final game of the episode is away at the King Power Stadium against a very good Leicester side which let's be honest we are definitely not the favourites to win that's all I'll say after getting our first point of the season however against Bournemouth could that Bournemouth be could that game against Bournemouth, I should say, be the turning point of our season and maybe get a draw against Leicester or even a win would be very nice. We made a couple changes to the side, including Jack Marriott starting up top, Knight on the wing with Brian at the right position. Purely due to fitness reasons, we did go for that Bournemouth win. We put everything forward and that has knackered out some of our players. So, this is the new team. Can we get our first win of the season in what would be a massively shock win? Let's see what happens, boys. Come on. Right then guys, here we go, a gorgeous King Power Stadium is hosting Leicester City versus Derby. And I said gorgeous because bloody hell, how beautiful does that sky look above this stadium? Honestly, it's going to be a, hopefully a game to match how good this stadium looks for a good 90 minutes. Hopefully you can get a good performance and get a big win against a very good Leicester side. I know they don't have the likes of Vardy, however... This is still a tricky game, and we are definitely the massive underdogs going into this fixture. 
Hopefully, he can come away with a huge three points in what would be a crazy win and our first win of the season. But I'm going to be honest, if you offer me a draw right now, I'll take it. I'll take it. Come on, boys. Oh, no. Timbo, it's one on two here. Tillemans. Timbo, huge tackle from Timothy for Sumenta there. That's that quality we signed. Come on. Uh oh, Timbo intercepts that again. Timbo has started this game fantastically well. If he's on his top form, it's going to be proper hard for Leicester to do anything today. He's backing him. Out wide to Josviak. Come on, Josviak. Come on, Josviak. Great opportunity. Josviak goes for a shot. It's a great save from Schmeichel in goal. What a save from the Dane. Here's Under, the Turkish international. Come on. Come on, no, 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 no. Oh, no, big block there from Brian, I believe that was. Huge block and arguably a goal-saving block from Tillemans there. Look at that. Oh. As we kick off the second half, 0-0 at half-time. I'll tell you now, if it stays 0-0, I'll be happy with that. It'll be a big draw. However, we have had more chances than him. I believe their only chance was that block Tillemans shot. So, you would argue we've been the better team, which is quite surprising. But, it doesn't matter who plays better. It's just who gets the final result. Bucking and intercepts. Finds Shinny. Loses it straight away. Oh dear. Timbo, we need you here. Ah, oh, Timbo. Holds him up gorgeously, Timbo. Come on. Plays Jack Marriott. Jack Marriott! And it's in! Super Jack Marriott in his first start in the Premier League. Gets the goal that puts Derby County 1-0 up away from home against Leicester. Huge goal that is from Marriott. Long way to go yet. Yeah. Timbo gets the ball. Pereira with another assist there. And it's a gorgeous strike from Super Jack Marriott. Super, Super Jack, Super, Super Jack. Come on, we can't concede now. We're so close from a huge win. No. Oh, no. I think Belix is about to get sent off. I think Belix is about to get sent off. He is. It's the second yellow. And no matter what happens in this game, Belix is gone for the next Premier League fixture. Was it a second yellow? I mean, yeah, okay, fair enough. Down to 10 men in the final minute of the game. Winning 1-0. Come on, hold it. Brian, come on. Come on, finds Perez. Hold the ball. We're so close now. One minute out of the line. Finds, come on. Josviak. Josviak with a great chance. He cuts inside. Josviak. Oh, it's a great save. But surely, after this corner, we have just picked up our first win of the season. Timbo. Come on, hold it. And we do! Down to 10 men in the final stages, but Derby County pick up a huge win and their first win of the season. Absolutely massive. Super Jack Marriott win his first start for the club this season. Potentially putting in a claim to start more often. I don't know, but either way, it's a huge victory for the Mighty Rams. Right then guys, before we end the episode, there is an offer here for Eduardo Cordoba, our future star, of course, from Colombia. What we're going to do, because it's a loan offer to buy, we're going to delegate this. We're going to remove the loan offer, but I am going to offer him a one-year loan for Cordoba. We're not going to play him, or if we are, it's not going to be much anyway. So hopefully, we can go out there and get him some minutes, let's say. Uh, where, where, who offered it? FC Lassam Sport. <laughs> so hopefully they can accept that and you can go get some minutes. Right then boys, that's going to end today's video. But as you can see, we are finally out of the relegation zone after picking up four out of a possible nine points in today's episode, including a draw against Bournemouth and a massive 1-0 win at the King Power with Super Jack Marriott getting his first goal on his first start of the season. Massive, massive episode. I did not expect to get that victory, but we held on and overall we performed well and we probably deserved the win. Um, hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. Let me know down below, by the way because we're starting to get some international job offers come through we just got one for china which i did reject but do you want me to do you want to see me i should say manage a national team and if so which national team would you like to see me look out for of course the obvious one is england but it could be cool to go for a outside one um i don't know like a croatia maybe a team that is big but not those top top leagues uh, nations sorry like a brazil or an england do you know what i mean so let me know down below what you think about that i hope you guys did enjoy the video smash the like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you next time peace